Hey everyone, welcome to Heavy Metal. Out on the range on this eh, decent day, a little hot, but we got a breeze, so I'll take it. And what are we up to today? Well, as you can see by the title, it's coffee. No, I'm not using my beloved Maxwell House coffee. We'll never do that. What I did, I was at the dollar, dollar store. You know, that's my favorite place to shop. And have some of this Cafe El Mauro. 100% pure coffee is what it says. But this is that vacuum brick. I mean, that thing is, a uh, yeah. I give them props for the vacuum seal, that's for sure. Well, I bought like eight of these. So what I like to do is say how many, how many of these copies do you think it would take to stop a 22? And to make it a little more interesting, I've got a regular 22 long rifle. This is, what is this stuff? Just some basic Aguila, some of that super extra that they got. But, also dug up one of my 22 shorts. So, which one do you think is going to make it the furthest? And, how many do you think each is going to go through? So, we've got us a two for one going on here. Well, let's take them out to the spool and set them up. I think by putting them between them two six by six blocks, it should stay pretty steady. We'll shoot the short first, and then we'll see how many it went through. Maybe we'll get lucky and catch it. That'll be cool. And then we'll shoot our long rifle. Y'all throw down in the comments what you think, and I'll get this set up, and we'll make these shots. All right. Got these jammed in between them six by sixes. So we have eight of them in total. I think that'll hold them good and steady. Well, let's see what's going to happen. All right. First up, I have our short. I don't know if it's going to chamber or not. Popped it right out. Don't tell me that I lost it. Thought I lost it. Try it again. Alright, now you get in there like you're supposed to. Outstanding. That's right, this gun won't shoot without the mag. Alright. Let's put this one in. I'm going to try to get it as low as possible. Or, uh, go for a good center shot. Fire and all. Alright, I think we got a good shot on that. Let's go up there and see what happened. Alright. Oh yeah, good center shot on that. So that got one. Went into the second. Oh man, this 22 short is just too much of a beast. Into the third. Fourth. Fifth. In the fifth one. A little tear right there, if y'all can see that. Did not touch the sixth one. Two, three up front. But that's what we got. It went through four and into the fifth one. Alright guys, what I'm going to do, try my best to shoot over to the left, put all these back for a long rifle shot. We're going to set that one to the side because we're going to open it up and see if that bullet's still in there. So let's go ahead and do our long rifle shot. we got seven of them. And like I said, I'll try to put the bullet hole more over here because we know that it's likely to go through more than just four. All right, now for our long rifle. It did grab it up and chamber it. That's cool. Like I say, we'll go a little bit over to the left. Ah, we are clear. Good shot placement. Now, let's see what happened there. As you can tell, 
We shot it right where we wanted to, so that's one, two, when the bullet is expanding out, three, it barely pushed out number three there, didn't it? Look at bullets right there. Yeah, it didn't come out of number four. Well, cool. Now let's break these down and see if we can catch our bullets. All right, get some stuff out of the way. So, the 22 short was in number five. 22 LR, we assume, was in number four. Huh, oh, that was quite surprising. Let's check out a short first, guys. All right, I don't have the patience to sit here and try to open that up the correct way. There. Ah, cool. Didn't have to dump out much. And there's our short. Sure enough, caught her in number five. That's cool. All right, now, set that one over here. For a long rifle, which ended up, we're assuming about right there. Yep, right there, I can see it, it just fell out. Now that is wicked. We caught both of them, but once again, the 22 short done a better job and went one more further than the 22 long rifle did. And there we have it. We got lucky, caught both of them. We're calling the uh, short caught number five, the long caught in number four. Get you comparison them two rounds again there without me dropping them. Yeah, cool catch. Put them in the saver pile. We got a lot in the saver pile. Well, guys, once again, the 22 short uh, proved to be quite unexpected. I mean, through one more, that was pretty thick. You know, vacuum sealed, it was packed really tight. So, that was a pretty good medium to do a little bit of bullet testing, and it proved to be a good bullet catcher as well. So, totally awesome. Well, everyone, I appreciate you watching. I hope y'all enjoyed that. Uh, if you would, throw me down some comments. Uh, if you're able, hit us up on Patreon. And please, like, share, and subscribe. Again, appreciate it much. Till next one, I hope that everyone has a fantastic day.